What's going on guys? Today I am back with another video. It's kind of Destiny related, um, but kind of ain't at the same time. Now, you guys know I main on Xbox. My Xbox is my baby. Xbox is my number one gaming platform. But with Destiny 2 and the beta, basically beta tomorrow, Destiny 2 September 8th, I do plan on playing on both consoles, PlayStation and Xbox. But my problem is I do not like the PlayStation controller. I'm so used to the Xbox controller, I can't use the PlayStation controller. So I've been in kind of a situation where it's been putting me off playing on PlayStation and it has done from the very start and it's as simple as that. But for the past few months, because I do plan on playing on both, um, I've been searching for a controller which has all the benefits and the layout of an Xbox controller. Shape, size, button layout, absolutely everything. But all the benefits of an official PlayStation controller when used on a PlayStation because some of these dodgy replicas don't offer all what you need uh, that a PlayStation controller offers but the controller I found does and it's called the Nikon Revolution Pro controller and before anyone says this is not a sponsored video on their behalf I'm doing this video because I've been searching for a controller to play on PlayStation with which matches my Xbox controller and I found it in this right here. So a little bit about the controller, I do think it's actually only available in Europe to buy from shops but you can definitely purchase it online uh, to get delivered to anywhere else in the world 100%. It cost me uh, £70 but brand new they are £90, that's about $120 um, and in, I've used it for about an probably a little under an hour now and I'll tell you guys 100% it is worth every single penny. If you definitely plan on playing on PlayStation, if you're making the switch from Xbox to PlayStation but want to get a decent controller which matches the Xbox controller, this is the controller for you. There's no two which ways about it. Um, I'll show you the actual size comparisons. They're literally the same and I'll tell you a little bit more about the controller itself but they are literally the same. They really are. All shapes and sizes, the analogs in the right place, D-pads in the right place, as you can see. So the controller itself, it's hardwired, it has to be hardwired, but the connection is proper secure. It screws in. Um, I mean it ain't coming out, you can't pull it out, you'd have to screw it out. It does have the touch thingy 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 bob bob, which the the PlayStation 4 controller offers. I don't know what it's used for. I know it pulls up your ghost and destiny, that's all I need to know. Um, this also has buttons on the back which you can program via an app on a PC, which I'll show you guys in a second. You can have a couple of modes, which is this one right here. So if you change the mode, you can see the controller light changes color to red. Nice. Um, it's got four buttons on the back. I'll try and zoom in so you guys can see. My webcam isn't the greatest, but it's got buttons there and there. M1, M2, M3 and M4, which you can program to anything you want. Obviously, I just want slide and jump uh, or a teabag and jump that's all I want and I'm gonna set that up on my PC later but I can tell you guys the controller is absolutely amazing it's everything I need it's everything I need another thing about it as well is it's got adjustable um, weights so you can make it heavier you unscrew this and you put in weights it comes with where did I put them I do have them weights somewhere Ooh, I almost broke my shelf they're somewhere around here but they basically look like two little bars metal bars I don't know where I put them no idea. Are they in the box? They must be in the box. But there's like two little bars that you can just plug in um, and pull out the ones in there. If you want to even make it even lighter, you don't put no bars in at all. So it'd be super, super light. But I think it's about perfect at the minute. It is. And I'm not, I'm not even going to mess with it. I really am. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because it feels great. It really does. But like I said, the controller itself, it just feels... Oh, feels the panic. It just feels beautiful. It just feels absolutely beautiful. There's no input delay or nothing like that. It's 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 perfect it really is it seriously is uh, just to prove I'm playing a PlayStation actually I'll show you guys my, my Titan this is my Titan It's a level 6 I mean it's because I just can't I've I, I got this game about it was before any of the DLCs because I ain't got none of the DLCs on this and I started up I played it for a bit got to a level 6 I thought no can't do this no more don't like the controller so I stopped playing it oh, now times are gonna change because now we'll be playing on both consoles I really will I really will start with the beta and if you guys do want to add me on PlayStation or Xbox to play the beta with me or play the full game with me in September, just hit me up on Twitter at DPJSC08 and I'll give out my gamer tag and tell me yours and I'll add you. It's as simple as that. Now what we're going to do guys now is um, I'm going to switch to the PC app uh, to show you guys exactly what you can do on PC and yeah, so we'll do that right now. Okay guys, so this is the Nacon app. Um, 
To get this, simply plug the controller into your PC via the USB wire, which you connect to your PlayStation with. You then need to go to Google, search Nacon Revolution Pro Controller app and download it. It's as simple as that. It will download in seconds. Uh, once you've downloaded it and installed it, you'll come to this screen, which you can just click at new firmware available, whatever. Uh, and there we can see the actual things you can do with this controller via this app. Um, we've got controller profiles here, which you can just select and install. You've got my profiles, which I haven't got any because I haven't saved any. You've got download profiles, which you can download what we've got here. There we go, we've got a Destiny one right there. That may be the one I need. Um, so I may try that one out. And we've got Nacon profiles, which is gonna be none, obviously. Uh, now you can actually adjust the right analog stick response curve for the joystick um, sensitivity absolutely I ain't gonna mess with none of that though because I don't know what I'll do to myself but yeah you can do that if you want to you can map every single button to whatever you want it to be um, you can change them all around as you can imagine you can do all sorts of things it's crazy um, triggers now this is actually something I will test out and will change but I will have to test it out which will probably take a while so I ain't gonna do it in this video but you can actually adjust the sensitivity of every single trigger which is great dead zones for the triggers that's absolutely amazing uh, but we'll do that at another time and then we've got the macros which are the four buttons on the back which you can app, you can apply any button to these you want so yeah i'm gonna obviously want i want a teabag button which is the slide button and i want the jump button for my m3 and m4 my macro 3 and macro 4 buttons and it's as simple as that um but yes guys let me turn the macros on just in case but yeah that is it for this controller. Uh, I would say it's kind of a review. I'm just giving you guys the heads up. If you want a decent controller to play Destiny on or play anything on on your PlayStation, when switching from Xbox because you don't like the PlayStation controller and you want something that matches all the benefits of an Xbox controller, including the layout, the analog, the D-pad, the feel, the weight, absolutely everything this Nacon Revolution Pro Controller is just for you in the video description I will link websites where you can purchase this actual controller uh, which will deliver to the US of A if you're in the UK I would suggest you guys checking out the computer exchange website as you can get it cheaper there but there are many places you can actually purchase this from eBay Amazon you name it it's there but guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks as always for stopping by hope it helped you out and I will see you on that next one Always in the